Oh, hello. We're back. I've had it for a handful of months now. I've had it for much longer than a handful of months. I've been working consistently on many projects for a handful of months, and I've put this thing to the test, and we are revisiting my conclusions about whether or not you should buy this. They've changed a little. Let's check it out. All right, as a short intro to the tool, the Recon is a measuring device for your chop saw where you run a piece of material under the wheel, it measures it, you reset, measure again, you're supposed to get highly accurate cuts over and over. That's the plot and it works, but does it work the way it's supposed to over time? So in my first video we did a little unboxing and then we set it up and calibrate it and ran a bunch of test cuts to see how it would perform and overall I was pretty happy with uh, what I had. I wanted to show or simulate, you know, real shop use. So pulled it out of the cabinet, got it attached to the chop saw. We're going to go ahead and cut up a handful of scrap pieces, uh, 10 in total. And after those, that we're going to compare them all using some calipers and pull all the measurements together and show you what we come up with. I just want to give you, show you some of the numbers. You can pause this right quick. We're not going to run over them, but I've got inches, inches, millimeters. There's the first six. There's the last four. And here are the ranges in those cuts. I went ahead and excluded number four here because I didn't use the system the way it's supposed to. I just went ahead and added an eighth of an inch, one and an eighth inch after cutting it. So we took that out of these numbers here, and here's our differences. And you might be like, you know what, that's not terrible, that's not great. Um, here's a picture. I got them all stacked up right here. Here's how they look side by side. I grab this piece of wood. If I know that my mark here is 20 inches and I want to cut it off, I can't run it through this to take off that what's left here unless I know this exact measurement. If I measure this and it's wrong, this will be wrong, which means that I would have to set it up, run it through, but here's the problem, I run out. So I went ahead and I moved my fence over to get this fairly close to the blade and I'm about to fall off the piece. That puts me about an inch off the blade. Not being able to remove just a small amount without running the whole piece through is obnoxious. One of my other complaints about this is how flimsy the attaching system for this arm is. The arm's on there, but the locking spring mechanism, it, it doesn't work well. You can't keep it to stay in its locked up position. You bump it lightly. I, I turn my saw on and it, it wants to, to fall down. It's poorly put together. Now there are a few other constraints that this piece has. Space is one of them. It wants you to run every piece for every measurement from the beginning every time. If you're breaking down a lot of large materials, that can be challenging. If you don't have six, eight, 10 feet of clearance on one side, or the other, to be able to do this, you are going to run into issues. Now I've got a pretty spacious setup. You can always have more space, it's a wood shop. Having to take a piece from the edge, run it, run it all the way through to get to my measurement, even if it's just a few inches or even worse, you know, if I want to take this piece just over six feet and I want to cut four feet off, I have to then run it all the way down until I get to my mark then I can cut it. And this is just like, this is a nice small light piece. You know, if I grabbed one of these 12 inch wide pieces of eight quarter oak that I've got stacked up here, trying to maneuver that while balancing it, it would just be too much work. Now, granted, like some people, they've got shop setups where this is something that's feasible, but this is a tool that's made with the hopes of improving your efficiency, your speed, your accuracy. A tool like this should be there to improve the way you work. At every given opportunity attempted to incorporate this as a piece. And I didn't like using it. It was just extra and obnoxious. It was in the way. It wanted to do this keep bouncing open. I wasn't necessarily getting the accuracy I wanted. It was calibrated and cutting well. And then it, they, in the instructions it says that if you're having inaccuracies, you may have to continue recalibrating it. And I know every tool in a wood shop 
requires calibration, table saw, band saw, jointer, you have to maintain them. At the same time, when you're sold a tool or a thing that's to go with a tool, the point of it is to make your life easier, faster, more efficient, more accurate. If you have to fight with it to get it to work, it becomes a downside. My overall conclusion, if they offered a refund on this, I'd get my money back. If you're gonna spend the money, add a little time, build fence. Unless you've got lots of money and you can just spend like $3,000 on an automated fence, which are cool as shit, I want one. Appreciate you sticking around. If you found any of this useful, please leave a like. As much as I wanted to love this, I couldn't. But I do love my new bench, which the video is pretty good. I think it's pretty good. It's entertaining to say the least. My lathe bench sucked. I have a new one. Go check it out.